What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to control any device in your home using a smart plug. You can connect your TV, your phone, an LED strip that turns on LED lights. Uh, you could plug it in right here on the side. Uh, you can plug in a tube amp, which, which I'm gonna show you right now. This actually has no remote control features at all. No IR sensor. So the only option to turn this on remotely is using the smart plug. I'm going to show you how to set it up. And you can control the smart plug with your iOS phone or Android phone using um, not just your phone, you can use a smart speaker as well, which I'm going to show you later on in the video using a Google Home speaker. So as of right now, my tube amp, I can only turn it on using the button. All right, so step one is to unplug the amp, and then you want to plug in the smart plug and plug it straight into the wall socket. So you always want to leave the amp turned on or your device turned on. Then let the smart plug do its thing. So right now the amp is not on. Let's say for example your Wi-Fi is not working or there's a glitch in the app and you have to update the app. Well you can still turn on the device just by pressing the button and I'll turn on the amp. And if you want to turn it off you just do the same thing. Press the button and you can turn it off manually. To reset it, you want to press and hold the button to reset. You want to make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. Then you want to download Smart Life. So if you pause the screen right now and you scan this QR code, it'll take you straight to the app. All right, so let's go ahead and open that up. You want to go ahead and register using your email address and create a password. Then it'll take you to the screen. You click on the plus symbol right here. And then we're going to connect an outlet. We're going to confirm that it's blinking on the device. All right, so it's blinking rapidly. Let's go ahead and click on it. And then you want to enter your Wi Fi password. Now it doesn't use an external hub like the Samsung Smart Things hub, but you still got to connect it to your wireless router. So make sure you put in your wireless router password. You're going to have to wait a couple minutes while it's connecting. Around 60%. It'll stop blinking, don't worry. That's normal. All right, so it is successfully added one device. Now the light is solid red. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename it. I'm gonna put in amp. All right, so now it's added. So we can click on that. And let's see if we could turn the device on and off using my phone. And let's see if we could turn it off. Yep. Yeah. It works. Here's some extra features that it offers. The app, you can set it on a timer. You can have a schedule and you can manually switch it on and off using this button or using this switch. All right, so now let's go ahead and add it to my Google Home. Make sure this is updated or else it might not work properly. You wanna make sure you're on Wi-Fi. All right, next, click on the menu button and then scroll to home control. Next, you want to go to devices, click on devices, and click on the plus symbol right here, and then search for Smart Life. Here it is. Now, next, you want to sign in using the username and password that you use to set up Smart Life app with, and click link now. All right, this should automatically pop up and you click on tap to assign. So this is my game room. So let's go ahead and put it in the game room. Click on that and type in game. Hit okay. Hey Google, turn off amp. Okay, turning off the amp. So it works. Hey Google, turn on amp. You got it, turning the amp on works awesome and perfect. It, it's pretty easy to set up. Hey Google, turn off game room. Okay, turning the amp off. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on the subscribe button right here or down below. And if you're interested in any of these devices, uh, the Google Home speaker or the smart plug, I'll leave links in the video description below. And if you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. 
Now, if you want to learn more about the Google products, check out the playlist in the video description below. Thanks guys for watching.